All right, so I uh, have reassembled the clutch gear or the clutch input shaft. Uh, put the bearing on. Basically, I put it in the press like this. Made sure that the press plates were underneath the bearing nice and secure. And then I pressed it down. I put, a, I put that piece of flat stock across the top here, pressed it in. It goes on no problem. You push it, you press it down until it stops. Um, and then I did the needle bearings again. So basically all I did was I took some Lucas uh, oil stabilizer. It says you can use that as assembly lube. This is not a paid promotion. I just happen to like it. I use it all the time. Uh, so I've been using this to lube all the, all the bearings and stuff as I put this back together. It's real thick. It's like almost like really sticky honey. So I just put a little bit on the inside of the bore and then um, stuck the needle bearings on there and they were able to stand on their own without falling out. And then I just kind of rested that shaft in my vise and uh, just laid them in there by hand. And then you can see the band that's in there. Um, I have the other one that came with this. It goes in there pretty easily. It takes a little finagling. But um you know, here's the here it is. So basically you squeeze that down. I used a set of needle nose pliers. You know, you want to get something that can grip around it pretty well. And you want to make sure that you uh you know, you don't go past the bottom with the pliers, otherwise you're going to bump into a bearing, you won't be able to get it in there. So, you know, you squeeze it, you kind of lay it in one side the best you can, and then I kind of had to take another set of pliers, and, you know, where it splits, you know, one side was kind of higher than the other like that, and I had to take the pliers and kind of push the high side down a little, and then kind of push the whole thing down in there. That holds the bearings in there nice and tightly so you can install this thing without them all falling out. And as you install this, um, this end of the shaft in the, on the other half of the main shaft just pushes that band straight down into the bore. It pops off the needle bearings and kind of goes down on that landing and then expands in there and it can't come out again until you take it apart again. Um, so that's it. Hopefully I won't screw this up again and have all the bearings fall out on me, but that was because the shaft pulled out. As I mentioned in the other video, the, uh, this shaft, the bearing backed out and separated from the front of the shaft. It backed out far enough that the bearings came loose and they all dropped out inside, which is extremely frustrating, which is why I'm doing these videos to hopefully help somebody else doing this in the future. Thank you.